We have three new contestants on tonight's Jeopardy, and I'm hoping one of them will be around again tomorrow. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. Our rightmost player, Kyle, seemed to have a, quite a finger on that buzzer. She was, or maybe thumb, I don't know what she was using, but there was one point during that, uh, what was it, the actors category in the second round, where Matt just kind of went, Ugh, after the $1,200 clue. Matt reminded me a lot of Moriarty from Sherlock with all the faces. Andrew Scott does those wonderful, uh, or, oh. I can't do them very well, and that's certainly not what Matt looked like up there. Hans, 5,600. This is going to be a really fun situation, I think, because uh, Kyle and Matt are separated by 2,200. Double that is 4,400, so Hans has more than that, so he doesn't have to get final right necessarily if uh, Matt and Kyle wager big enough. Uh, so 9,200. Let me just subtract 2,000 from that. We're going to get, uh, that'll be 18,4. So 7,000, so yeah, 18.4, double that, 18.4. Uh, if Kyle's wrong, she'll be left with 4,400, as previously advertised. So to stay above that, Matt would have to have 4,800, or wager no more than 4,800, and Hans can wager up to 1,200. Okay, now if Hans doubles up, he's going to have 11.2. So I guess Kyle could wager at most 200. Don't really like that wager. Uh, Matt, 2,000. If Matt was wrong with that 2,000, that's going to leave him with 7,200. So uh, Hans had to wager at least 1,600. I'm going to put this up here as his optimal wager, and that's going to force him to go for everything because Matt would be in good shape going for uh 2,000 here just to lock out Hans. It wouldn't put him below Hans' score. But now we're going to go into mind games. We're going to see what everyone could do if they think someone else is going to do something different. Start with Matt. If he goes for this 4,800 amount, that'll put him at 14,000. So that's 2,600 from Kyle. And if she's wrong with that, she's going to be left with, so what is that, uh, 8,800? So Hans, again, going for broke. Matt, uh, at most, 400. Don't like that wager. We'll put it down there anyway, because the math says so. Hans, with this 1,200 wager, if he's right, we'll have 6,800. So Matt could cap his wager at 2,400. And uh, 4,600, I guess that would be for Kyle. I'll do that. But like I said, Hans should go for everything here. And now we'll look at uh, these differences. So to cover a zero wager for Matt, that's at least 2,200. So he's got this tight little range here. 2,200 to 2,400. And to cover an unsafe wager by Kyle, if Kyle goes for... 2200, which probably not the best move here. Uh, then, if she's right, Matt would have to wager at least 4400 to get above her. Uh, Hans, we already know, has to go big. He can't cover a zero wager by either of these guys. Uh, 3600 on the downside for Matt. Nothing I can do there. Kyle, that's going to be 6000. Yeah, so these are the ranges. I guess I can get rid of that. And not a huge fan of this. So for Kylie, either 7,000 or up to 200, I go 199. And uh, I guess Matt would want to wager 2,400 in that case. I like this range out of Matt. Well, actually, I don't. I like this range out of Matt. I need 2,400. And yeah, I think that's going to be about it. So Hans all in, Matt, uh, this small thing, and Kyle for the lockout. I guess since I watched last night, I'll watch again tonight. It's funny that we have the same, well, very similar category. I guess tomorrow night we're going to have North American countries or something along those lines. Uh, so let's see if we use the purple 
bullpen. Everyone wins with a lead. All I'm guessing it's going to be a what? Here what is the blue players? In 1721, oh. explorer Charlevoix oh. called a point at the border of these two states the finest confluence in the world. 30 seconds, good luck. Well, there's a town in Michigan called Charlevoix. It's in northwest Michigan. I probably I'm totally missed a lot of this. Hans Cam, we come to you first. You had 5,600. You were in third place and you wrote down what is New York and New Jersey, and that, unfortunately, is incorrect. It'll cost you 1401. All, All right. right, dropping you down right. to 4199. Let's go to the middle now. Matt started slowly, came on strong, and wrote New York and New Jersey. Also, he is incorrect, and he loses everything yeah. he had as we go to Kyle Webb. She had 11,400, and she picked which two states? Louisiana and Texas. No, it's where the Missouri and the Mississippi meet, just north of St. Louis, and the two states are Missouri and Illinois. What are you going to use? lose? 7,001. It's a small piece. Now, see. You become the new chance of Jeopardy with 4,399. Now, see, that was just... I, I have no idea why... Hans was going for that 1401. What does it even cover? I don't know. 48. Yeah, I don't. I don't get it. But if he was going to wager 1401, he might as well have wagered everything. So, uh, congrats to Kyle. And uh, yeah, Matt. Don't like that wager either. Yeah, I'm getting two reds tonight. Oh well. I thought uh, Kyle missed a great. Turn off my TV. Thought Kyle missed a great opportunity during that. Uh, was it the Oliver Twist clue? What was the crime that Fagan was telling people <laughs> to commit? And I, I would have loved for her to say, "What is picking a pocket or two? Yeah. No. Okay. Fine. That and uh, it's worth noting that Trebek appears to be a connoisseur of corks. Man, that guy does everything, doesn't he? Okay, well, uh, Kyle will be back tomorrow. As Alex said, not the biggest total, but uh, she takes advantage of two pretty bad wagers. Might need to go and cork something myself. We'll see you tomorrow right here on the final wager.